What's up? This is Gilbert Arenas rocking with the Three Point Conversion Radio. Y'all tune in. Holla at your boy. It's hard to say. Uh, we just sped up. Uh, we got really sped up consistently. Um, travels, we're trying to do too much one-on-one in the constant begging and timeouts to drive and kick, drive and kick, find people on the perimeter, keep them in dominoes. And we just, we kept running traffic, traveling, going too fast. Uh, it was all game. It wasn't just the fourth, you know, I don't, it's, uh, the team needs to believe in themselves. And I think they get, they get to points in games. Now, when you lose a few games, you start to, uh oh, here it comes again, right? You start to feel like it's 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 the same thing. It's not the same thing. You you always have an option. You always have a choice to adjust, um, make the changes, and and really, you know, I think that down the stretch of these last few games, we we haven't made the choice to go take the game, to go win the game. We're 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 playing scared, and uh, it's it's you know we're running out of time to make the adjustment. So uh, I, we will we will keep working on it. With that said, how, um, how difficult is Andre taking this show on his own now for the three days later? Oh, no question. It's it's gonna it's hard, uh, but that's the WNBA season. You know that's being a professional athlete. Um, you know we we could have controlled our own destiny. And we just didn't win the games that we needed to win. And the thing that I'm most frustrated with is that we're not taking the steps. We're doing the same things over and over again. We talked about this in the locker room. Uh, we need to be taking steps. I can handle a loss where we execute and we just, we just didn't make enough shots or whatever. But the lack of execution on both ends, the sometimes effort, the sometimes stay together, the head hanging, uh, it's got to change. It just has to change. Coach Frank, I wanted to ask you about Jackson Miller. He's been a while, presumably being injured. He's really been playing the balance. He's been playing the balance. Can someone mute whoever's? Uh, sorry, what was the second part, Erica? Just where she stands, status wise. Yeah, I don't know yet. Um, it looked like it hurt her pretty bad. She's tough. So, you know, if she's wincing like that, it, she's probably hurting. Um, I'm sure we'll find out more. We'll get it looked at and, and find out more. Uh, but yeah, I mean, her, the presence of mind to stay in the play, um, you know, and, and secure the possession in that moment was, was really great. I mean, she's, she's tough, right? Like that's, that's proof of it. Yeah, you know, it's uh, leadership is a is a really nuanced skill. Um, it's not something you're born with necessarily. You know, it's 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 there's so much that goes into it personality type, understanding a moment, reading a room, empathy, uh, or a lack thereof. Sometimes really great leaders don't have empathy at all. They don't care. They just drive. Right. And that's, and that can work. Um, I think our group, we've got a handful of players, you know, in Sammy and Benaja, um, they, they haven't really gotten to do that yet right they haven't gotten to like own it and have their own team and, and I think you know even if you were to go back to college you probably wouldn't see them kind of being handed the keys and being a leader and so 
um, you know, we, we talked in the, in the locker room about being a broken record about certain things. And one of the things I've been a broken record about is that, you know, they have to go through these moments. Yes, but they have to make the changes too. So yes, the experience is essential, but they've got to learn from it and they've got to grow. And so when you talk about my background, um, in terms of leadership, in terms of trying to teach that it's to focus on the process of day-to-day improvement and not be overly swayed up or down by wins or losses, right? Like you've just got to focus on, are you growing? Um, I think that in some ways we've seen growth and I think in some ways we've seen regression. And so I think as far as the leadership going on the road now, it's, it stays with the same focus. We have to be focused on our process. We have to be focused on everyone watching the film and saying, how can I be better? What tangible goals do I have that, that are trackable um, that I can make sure that I'm making the adjustments I need to make to, to help my team? Yeah, I think she was more poised in the post. She saw a few where she got sped up or, you know, got happy feet. Um, she had a, a one or at least at least one travel, maybe more. Um, but yeah, I thought she looked like she let the game come to her a little bit more and she wasn't forcing as much. Uh, I thought still at moments on both ends, she looked sped up and then there's moments where she looks like herself and, you know, um, she just she just needs to, to stay with it and We'll keep working on it. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, you know, the way that we're approaching uh, preparation is um, it's evolved throughout, but it doesn't leave behind the fundamentals. We we work on the same things throughout the season. I think, um, you know, I, I, I do think to some extent it's a lack of focus in the areas um, that we're regressing. And I think the the team defensive schemes have been one of the things where potentially there's some slippage because we've gotten a little bit more creative with how we guard people. We've added ices in, um, but it's it's really hard to say outside of that because not much has changed in terms of the way that we prepare. And the last one, I just wanted to get your thoughts as to how you thought Steph was able to handle Diana when she was on her and then if she got by foul over so many stretch, it seems like she's very comfortable defending her. Yeah, uh, Beck, Beck was really good. Beck was really good in a lot of ways. Um, I thought we missed her a lot. I thought she was open a lot on a basic drive and kick. And we just kept our dribble and we kept running into people. All we had to do was drive and draw. And, uh, you know, Beck has some work to do in terms of when she puts the ball on the floor. Um, and that's something that's fixable. And I just told her that. That's, I mean, look at how far Sammy has come from working on finishing, working on getting the two feet, using her body, her pace when she drives, taking an extra dribble instead of picking it up and taking long steps that they can time. It's all stuff that we can teach. Um, unfortunately, that you know, part of that is that we did that work during the three weeks that Beck was with the Australian national team. And so she didn't get that, that same work. And um, so it's definitely something we can move the needle on. It's, it's, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, in terms of her defense, yeah, I, I trust her defense really on almost any position, um, even when she's outmatched size wise, she's just feisty and she fights around. And um, I've been really pleased with Beck and, and her effort. And I thought tonight she really tried to will us at times and um, you know, she did everything she could. Can you repeat that again? Sure. Uh, uh, what, what, what did you focus on on the players only meeting that you had? Um, and then how do you feel that you executed what 
what we learn as a team is like the little thing that we can control, control is like rebounding, turnovers, and you know, it's communication. Uh, Lainey always hopper on us communicating consistently, and I think we, you know, doing a better job as, as that as a team. And uh, and what I learned from it is, you know, be more a leader, like uh, a leader on the floor. You know, helping my teammates out the best way I can, and uh, not get frustrated. Oh, um, okay. So, um, so this is this is the signing because I really think it is like all of you. Um, it, in the W, um, well, Coach was discussing how you know the leaders on this team are they're ex you're experiencing something for the first time and you're sort of being given the keys to the car, you know. And in your W and B career, you might not have been something that has happened before. Um, so I, I'm curious as to how situations like this start to, I, I guess, shape that experience for you, you know, and sort of give you a check as to, okay, like, this didn't work, and sort of just building your, I guess, your roles as, as leaders, you know, the three of you. Okay, thank you. And then, like you said, it's a learning experience, so... We're just trying to learn the best way we can through everything that we're going through. Right. Beth, I, I want to ask you about um, how you felt going up against Diana tonight and just sort of what you felt like you were able to do, you know, successfully at this point. Um, I know, I knew from this, the last game in particular, I need to be more physical, um, meet her early. Make it make it hard for her. Ultimately, every time she came off, I think we did well with like switching in moments. Um, everything is sort of in moments at this point. Um, but I just wanted to make every shot I could difficult for both like her and and Skyler. Um, obviously, penetration downhill um, was difficult in moments as well. Um, but yeah, we just need to come back together and and sort it out. Yeah. And, and finally, uh, Coach said that he feels like there's been just a, a, a bit of regression this year. Do you know what you could attribute that to? I mean, I, I know it's tough and I'm sorry. But... I mean, it's all about us growing from each game. It's all about us learning from the last one and making adjustments. I believe that this game, we did make some adjustments from the last one. Um, did we make enough? No. Did, was it consistent? No. Um, but ultimately, I think that each of us just need to take a minute to, to look at what we did today and, and in past games as well and seeing like, hey, what area do we need to grow in um, for us to be to be successful in the next game going into against Minnesota? It's going to be another game. We need to steal it. We need to take this win um, because no one's going to give it to us. Yeah. Hey guys, just the third quarter and the second game with Lawrence to take the lead. Just in, what did you do well there that you stayed with you on the road for the next couple games? So obviously, these games you got to try to win. Uh, <clears throat> we did a good job of rebounding, limiting to one shot only, and also pushing it, pushing the ball. Uh, and we also did really well just screening, you know, having open looks for. Our shooters and also we did inside and out and that's one thing we actually did good this game and we kind of got to keep growing with that too as well when we play against minnesota um going off of that i mean obviously not the report you guys were looking for but were you encouraged by that stretch is that something that you feel like you could point to and say okay this is where the progress lies and we're more resilient than maybe we, we were last game Can you repeat that, sorry? Can you repeat that a, a little? Can you, the last part of your question? Yeah. Um, basically, Doug referenced that uh, that third quarter stretch there where you guys came back and took the lead. I'm wondering if you found, if you took encouragement from that, and uh, if so, what, what you can point to, I guess, as uh, a point.
point of rebuilding. I mean, it, it just goes back to what Beck said. You know, we made some adjustments for the game. So if we can continue to build off of that and then just clean up the things that didn't go well for us, you know, we can um, hopefully get different results. Miles Early. Hi, I've got one for Natasha. You were incredibly efficient from the floor tonight. Um, you made your first three shots and then later hit three of five from outside of the paint. What was working so well for you tonight that you were able to score from all three levels? <clears throat> Couldn't do it on my teammates. Uh, you know, we knew that uh, Mercury was going to double on Laney. You know, we had to make sure we spaced out for her to pass the ball and stuff like that. And I was in, I was in those type of spots that she could actually pass me the ball and score and stuff. But uh, it was a team effort for me to get those type of shots and just me just doing it on my own. So. Thanks so much. Cortland Griffin. Cortland Griffin, the three-point conversion. This question is for anyone. Um, there were times where it seemed like when the Mercury would come up and double that you guys had um, good passing lanes uh, into the paint. And it seemed like at times you guys got away from that. Is that something that you feel like you can implement more going forward uh, as the season progresses? Yeah, I mean, I think that we should definitely keep focusing on getting the ball inside, both to our bigs and our guards that are posting up. I think that that's a huge advantage for us. Um, and like you said, we just need to keep going to that, especially if, you know, that's the way that we're scoring. Thank you for your insight. Thank you. Thank you all for joining. We'll send a post-game note shortly. Thanks.